name is Cynthia and today I'm going to talk about cross cultural competence. Nowadays, every job has a global competition. This means that if you are applying for a vacancy, you're not just competing with the people that live around you or in the country, you're competing with the people all around the world. That's why that if you're thinking of applying or working in a job that is far away from your home country, you should follow these tips. Initially, to pass the first hurdle, you will need to learn the language. This will help you a lot and it will be easier to get that vacancy. Giving you what is necessary to take employment in wherever you apply and also try to uh, do a step learning here. So you will know your progress. Another thing you should know is that the Hessians or the signals that those people in that culture do, so you will not be losing or you will know what to do in any situation. For example, in China they have signals hands for the numbers. This means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So if you're in the office and you're asked at people at what time is the meeting with the main director and he tells you this, that doesn't mean that the director is an autocratic and wants everyone there. It means that the meeting is at 8 o'clock. Second of all, try to integrate with the local business culture because their work is so different from ours. The way they behave, the way we interact, we got different ideas from acceptance. For example, what it looks unpolite to you, it may look good in that culture. An example from China is that when they're eating, it's really good to make noise with their, with their food because this means that you are really enjoying the food. So if you go out for a dinner with the people of the office and it's the manager and the main director there, you should make some noise so they know that you're really enjoying being with them and that food. Another thing is to know about the values of that office, the companies, what they want for them to you to afford to that um, job. Most of the Chinese companies want a long-term view so you will know your future with them. You can uh, tell them that your future is to be in that company, that's a long-term view. Also to be patient, to be open and to be a good listener. Most of Chinese say, don't be a rich adverse, jump to the adventure, learn from errors and try again. So if you take this in mind, you will be good. Third thing you should know is that investigate about the working hours. Some countries have a five-day working week, typically Monday to Friday. Also, in reality is that most of the companies do overtime and it doesn't compensate for this. So you should know more about this before you're applying for the job. Also, the holidays. Some countries is relative but most of them have just 15 days of pay. So what sh you should know is in, before you do your contract is to know the holidays. So this is everything for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.